everybody and welcome to Hoskins HQ where we're bringing your assembly this morning. Thank you to Ashlyn Grogan for the music intro this morning. She was playing the little ballerina. Obviously lots of practice has gone on there. And speaking of practice, we've been all busy here when we're not working. We're trying to develop a few skills. I'm catching up on a, a bit of reading. We can see there's some bird watching going on over there. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear that there's some violin practice going on in the background here. Hi, come on, do this. Maybe not going quite so well. And we've got some jayboarding going on in, uh, in the animal here. Oh, well, sorry for that little mishap. Fortunately, everybody is okay. Anyway, time for our merits this week. Lots of people have been working very hard. So we've got some bronze awards. So bronze awards this week go to Bakhle Mahiza, Ale Taib, Matimba Mutantika, and that's her second bronze. So well done you for your bronze awards. We've got a silver award, which goes to James Hall. Well done, James. A gold award for Faye Wiley. So well done, Faye. And a head of secondary award for Levi Evans. You will get your prizes and you will get your certificates when you get back to school. So well done, lots of hard work being done there. Okay, so now it's time for us to talk about our photo competition. And I'm gonna hand you over to Mr. Turner, who's gonna talk about last week's photo competition and also introduce this week's photo competition. photo competition is all about helping around in the house. You might help by doing the washing up or perhaps mopping, doing some sweeping, maybe even doing the ironing. So your challenge is to take a photo of how you can be helping out around the house, helping out mum and dad. So get choring and send your photos in to the address that's going to appear just now. There's lots of other great things about being at home and not being at school. For instance, we're not using the cars to travel to and from school. So we're saving our carbon footprint there. But other advantages include be being at home. For instance, you know, you can wear your pajamas all day because there's nobody going to be telling you otherwise. And of course, you don't need to wait for break time because you've got snacks on tap all the time. Where are you going, dogs? Go do some work. 
And speaking of all things environmental and how great it is to be at home, let's pop over and see Mitali, who's got a challenge for the future. Hi guys, Mitali here to launch an upcoming photo competition. This week, we would like you to plant a seed in your garden. The weather is great, so why not go outside? You could plant anything and anywhere. This could be anything like herbs or vegetables, but preferably something that doesn't take too many months to see progress. The idea is for you to plant a seed now, so that later this term we have a photo competition. Today I've planted basil. So get planting guys, and remember, let's keep it clean, let's keep it clean. Okay, time now to hear from our students. So we've got a special message for you from our head girl, Michaela. Hi guys, I hope you're all well. i just like to tell you guys that in a hard time like this, where we're all away from our daily routines, from each other, I think the best way to stay positive is by keeping in touch. And communication in this day and age isn't necessarily hard. It's something we can control. What we cannot control is what's going on around the world right now. All we can do is try and stay safe. I advise you all to get sanitizers, keep social distances. And even though the situation is hard and none of us really know how it's going to end, I advise you all keep up with your assignments. Do them as best as you can. Uh, because although we cannot write exams, these assignments can make a difference and the situation is what it is. We cannot change it, we cannot control it. The only thing we can control is the way we respond to the situation. So let's respond positively and let's stay safe. Now we have a special treat for you as well. Uh, Abdullah Omar in year nine, he wrote a really good sonnet for his English assignment this week and he's gonna read it to you now. So over to you, Abdullah. And here I am in utter disbelief, the joy from which my life is more complete, where those like me can sigh in great relief, on all my worries I hit delete. To stay inside just used to be a dream, and now the dream is a reality. The dream will last for long, so it seems, leaving the house just a formality. The time will come when all of this will end, safe to say I won't be so content. Optimism is the way I'll mend, perhaps a nice beach house that we could rent, for now, I'll enjoy the sudden bliss as I complete the work that's set by Miss. And now for the bit we've all been waiting for. Time to talk to our Mr. Motivator, Mr. Spark, who's going to tell us all about the plans for the virtual sports day coming up in the future. Over to you, Mr. Spark. Hi, guys. I'm going to quickly chat to you about the Baobab at Home uh, Remote Sports Day that we're going to be starting on the 4th of May, which is next Monday. Um, this event is going to be running for two weeks, so it'll take the place of your PE classes. Uh, what you need to do um, is you need to try and involve your siblings um, and your parents if possible um, and get active because we want to try and be as active as possible over this time. So what we're going to be doing is three events at home. Uh, so we've chosen events that are easy, that that don't need any specialist equipment. The first one is a 400 meter, sorry, an 800 meter run. And that run, you can measure off in the street or around your garden. Um, and you need to then give the result of that, the time, back to your tutor class teacher. All of these results will go back to your tutor class teacher. And for example, if you run um, 800 meters in two minutes, uh, you will then convert that to seconds, so that will be 120 seconds, and that will go back to your tutor class teacher. What you can do is you can do this four or five or six times and try and get the best time possible uh, for the first event, which is your run. The second event is just a, a throwing event, and I've brought um, a dustbin and a ball. All you do is you place a dustbin eight meters away for year seven to 13, okay, from where you're going to be standing, you'll put the, the tennis ball into the bucket, run and fetch it, run back to the mark, and repeat it as many times as you can in one minute. Okay, so that result will then go back to your tutor class teacher. Maybe you've managed to do 23 throws 
in one minute. The last event, the third event, is a jumping event. And all we've got to do there, guys, is we've got to basically do a double, ta a double footed takeoff and landing jump. Okay, so basically from a mark, okay, that you measure and you jump forward and mark uh, where you've actually landed. All right, and that result will then go back to your tutor class teacher. Okay, that's it for this week, everybody. Thank you for watching and well done for those of you who took part in the photo competition. Don't forget to get practicing and taking your photos for this week's photo competition. Um, don't forget to plant your seed for the future challenge as well. Good luck with sports day, all of you, and uh, have a great week and stay safe.